El Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead, is a Mexican holiday that dates back to the time of the ancient Aztecs. They believed that the soul had to travel through nine difficult levels to reach its final place. Members provided food, water, and tools to aid the deceased. Today, people have food and other offerings on the graves or on makeshift altars called ofrendas. October 31st is Halloween. November 1st is El Dia de los Incientes, or the Day of the Children. Tradition says that at midnight on October 31st, the gates of heaven are open and the spirits of the children can rejoin their families for 24 hours. November 2nd is All Souls Day, or the Day of the Dead. Families decorate the altar with bright composition flowers whose petals are spread on the ground from the tomb to the home for the dead to find their way. There are pictures of the departed and the favorite foods and drinks which include pan de muerto, bread of the dead, a glass of water to refresh themselves, white candles to light the way, and a special incense called copa. The scent of the flowers and the incense draw the souls to join in the celebration. Lastly, in the movie Coco, Miguel's dog turned into an alabrije or spirit animal. These spirit animals serve as guides to link the spirits and real world to help a person through life to become who you are supposed to be. Feliz Dia de los Muertos! Ay, de mi llorona, llorona de azul celeste. Ay, de mi llorona, llorona de azul celeste. Y aunque la vida me cueste, llorona, no dejaré de quererte. No dejaré de quererte. Hay muchas diferentes versiones de la leyenda de la Llorona. There are many different versions of the legend of the weeping woman. En una versión, una mujer muy hermosa se casó con un hombre muy guapo. Tuvieron dos hijos. In one version, a very beautiful woman got married to a very handsome man. They had two children. Después de unos años, el hombre empezó a salir con otras mujeres y también a beber. No vino a casa a veces por meses, pero cuando decidió visitar la casa, no saludó ni habló a su mujer, solo a los hijos. After some years, the man began to go out with other women and also to drink. He didn't come home at times for months, but when he decided to visit, he neither greeted nor spoke to his wife, only to his sons. Un día, la mujer se volvió loca y en ese momento agarró a sus hijos y los tiró en el río. Pero cuando oyó los gritos de sus hijos, se dio cuenta de lo que había hecho. Corría al lado de la orilla cuando tropezó con la raíz de un árbol. Se cayó y pegó la frente en una roca. Murió. One day, the woman went mad and in that moment grabbed her children and threw them into the river. But when she heard the screams of her children, she realized what she had done. As she ran along the bank of the river, she tripped on a tree root, fell, and hit her head on a rock. She was killed. La gente del pueblo encontró su cuerpo y la enterró en el lugar donde cayó. Cuando caía la oscuridad, su fantasma se levantó de la tierra Empezó a vagar por el campo buscando a sus hijos. Se mía y gritaba, ¡Oh, mis hijos, mis hijos! The people of the village found her body and buried her on the spot where she fell. As darkness fell, her ghost rose from the grave and began to wander through the countryside looking for her sons. She moaned and shouted, My sons, my sons. Su castigo es vagar por todas partes para la eternidad. No puede entrar en las, los cielos hasta que encuentre a sus hijos. Her punishment is to wander throughout the countryside for eternity. She cannot enter heaven until she finds her sons. Ah, oh, mis hijos, mis hijos.